like you don't realize that it's literally nine hour drive down from California and you can put yourself as the only person around for 50, 60, 100 miles. Like wherever you point the bow, you're not gonna see someone else. It's like a completely different world down here. My name is Brian Tim. I'm a professional avid fisherman from Oceanside, Southern California. Through like fishing, I've had friends tell me consistently, like get down to Baja, get down to Baja, like you gotta experience it. It's the one thing that I haven't really pulled the trigger on. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. I feel like it's like kind of going into the unknown. I have like normal life responsibilities with work and it just always seemed hard to do or like sketchy in a way but after coming down here and doing the drive you know it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I mean I had good fishing in my backyard but the fishing down here is like almost a hundred times better than anywhere in California. It's like the home of the yellowtail <laughs> and awesome cabrilla fishing and Something that I never thought I'd experience being like up in California and it's so cool that it's just a stone's throw away. So especially fishing with Joel, he's a absolute stick. He knows how to fish. Just the way he positions himself on rock spots and reads really the current and the conditions a lot. And if we weren't getting a bite within three or four drops, he had another rock pile 100 yards away. You are ready for big bite? Oh, I'm ready for big bite. He knew sure? like, all right, this is gonna be it. We're gonna get big. Okay, let's go try those machos over there. Within 10 seconds, we were bending on yellowtail on the knife jigs. It was insane. It's incredible the diversity that we have here. Toda la vida está en el agua. Es la mejor parte de, para pesca hasta ahorita, ¿no? En esta parte norte del, del Golfo de California, ¿no? Del Mar de Cortés. Este, todo lo debemos gracias aquí a las corrientes. Aquí, cerca del Canal de Ballenas, tenemos a más de mil metros de profundidad. Estas urgencias es un aporte rico de, de agua fría, rica en nutrientes, que al llegar a la superficie ya encuentra buenas condiciones de luz y empiezan todos los, los procesos este, biológicos, ¿no? y empieza toda la cadena trófica. ¿no? Estuve cinco años en, en Ensenada, estudié oceanología, y pues quería conocer un poco más, de, no solamente conocimiento uh, empírico, sino un poco más a fondo. Y este, siempre quise pues, regresar aquí a Bahía para tratar de hacer algo Algo en el mar, ¿no? Aparte de esto de pescar, tratar de cambiar la mentalidad de no necesitas matar todos los pescados que atrapas, ¿no? Y puedes dedicarte uno o dos para comer, tal vez el 10% y regresar este, la mayor parte, ¿no? De todos modos se van a divertir y vamos a dejar pescado para las siguientes generaciones. I was pretty surprised to like see how he studied marine biology. He knows a lot about the, the marine environment. 
Joel has a really good mindset on preserving the fishery for the future. He's all about releasing fish. While we were out there, we were releasing big yellowtail. We only kept what we needed for sashimi on the boat. That's good, that's your back with frozen fish. And you can really see the conservation working. It's absolutely yeah. plugged with fish. He literally jumped out of the water. It was very similar to California 50 years ago, where you can just go to any high spot and catch all you want yellowtail. You drop down a knife jig and you're bit. Every single drift, I mean, that really puts into perspective something that you can take home back to California and practice on your own because maybe one day we can be having fishing just like down in Bay of LA.